So Logic is retiring just so he can come back a few years from now because he failed at gaming. In the immortal words of Draymond Green, what, you think you Kobe? In all seriousness, man, it is a breath of fresh air that a rapper actually understands that he doesn't have it anymore. Like, Logic is quite frankly washed all the way up and you can tell by the lyricism and the things that he's saying within this song. But here's the thing about Logic. Lyricism was never really his forte. He could have just ran this one all the way up, all the way out, because he got the core skill set that he's always going to deliver a standard quality. It's like a Tom in fantasy football. He has a high floor. That pretty much means that whatever player that you have with a high floor, that person is always going to score a certain amount of points. That's why you drafted him. He's never going to let you down. And that's exactly what Logic did throughout his career, if this is, in fact, the end of it. But he also had a high ceiling. That means that he could have been one of the greats. He could have put out amazing music that will be remembered forever. And I'm not denying that his whole repertoire that he put out was solid because it is, but yet he never really cracked the classic level. And in my opinion, the reason being is because he lacked the motivation to actually become great. When you look at Lil Wayne, what he did because he wasn't a very lyrical person to begin with, he was willing to go out and get some ghostwriting, willing to go out and learn and adapt to the way that the music industry was going, deliver punchlines, and become a better, more complete artist. While Logic, he was always a solid, complete artist, but lacking in certain areas that always had him coming up short. And that main area is lyricism. And I've said this in pretty much every review that I made for Logic throughout his entire career. But what he lacked in overall lyricism, he made up for in the way that he wrote because he is an excellent theme writer. Just look at the projects that he released. Even though they all are carried along the same quality that he is known for as a musician, but each of them somewhat is different. Like when you look at the Bobby Tarantino series, this is him conforming to where the music industry is now, but yet doing it on his own terms. Doing it on possibly the highest level that I've ever heard of this new age music that's not very good at all. Look at the Young Sinatra series. That was known for being the classic boom bap hip hop type feel that vibe but yet updated with Logic's whole style. Look at that Everybody Project man. Even though he didn't follow this one up, he did have that whole theme bleed into the rest of his projects from here on out which was the I'm biracial and we're all equal type. Logic is so good that you really can't determine which project was better than others because he's just equally as good on everything. He just takes it in different directions that it just depends on whatever your preferences are, but yet he got something for you. But I will tell you this No Pressure Project is my least favorite of all of them because clearly he's just washed up. He has every single symptom of being a washed up rapper. What are these symptoms? You place more reliance on the things that you've done in the past than creating something for the future. And you can see this with bars like how he's saying, I did songs with 2 chains all the way up to Wu-Tang. Also how he's relying on classic lines from classic songs and using these classic songs and such as production and all that. You can tell a lack of creativity here and you see it with songs like Hold em Say which is clearly a Kanye West good morning interpolation. That Growing Pains 4 which is clearly that outcast elevators as you can tell even he put Andre 3000 on the joint. And I don't even know 
how to feel about that man I is because he's using the same sample that he did off the Indica by Do project. And lastly, there's the whole point of he got absolutely nothing to say just based off of the life that he's leading and he tries to make this into actual songs. He's trying to give you exactly what it is you think you want as he's saying in the dead bod song where he's just talking about his normal life routine where it's actually nothing that anybody wants to hear but in reality your fans don't listen to your lyrics though dog like everybody's gonna say whatever it is that you saying is hot regardless like when you have that caliber of a fan base you might as well run it up like, but the fact that he's walking away is because he doesn't want to make lesser music because he is this good. Now, my favorite songs off this would be that Soul Food 2, where that is a remix to Soul Food 1, in which it's a true remix from the production to all of the balls that has been said from the original. He was taking them and making them full circle, and that's pretty much the full concept of this album. Under pressure from his very first, that was him being anxious, getting into the game, having to prove himself, establish himself, but now as he's getting out the game, he's realizing, I ain't got nothing to prove, I did everything that I honestly wanted to do outside of like a platinum album. And my only other favorite song would be that Aquarius 3, and it sucks that it's tied to that open mic, well I'm not saying that that open mic was bad, where he was just flowing in like the whole image that he's trying to have with it is he's doing an actual open mic and that's why the distortion is on the voice and all of that stuff because the sound at these venues are never perfect but it really took away from the fact that the ending part of it was that much better but now it's that time again that we go ahead and check out these bars you know what logic style reminds me of the martini. It's classical. It fits in with anything that you want it to fit in. It's the standard that people tend to say that they want. But yet, Logic's martini is a bit different because it's not made with gin. It's made with vodka instead. And it's shaken, not stalled. Just like Sean Connery would suggest. But the problem with that is that is not the standard martini that's the classic variation of it. See, a true martini begins with gin, in which it has to be left in the freezer. It has to be super cold. And then you stir it with as much ice as you possibly can, and that takes away the whole nasty aftertaste that gin will deliver to you. Where logic does the same exact thing. Like, everything that you would somewhat believe you want out of martini, he provides gives you the flow, he gives you the delivery, he gives you the concepts, and he does it on such a high level, but the little details of, okay, you got to say something of importance, some hot punchlines consistently, you got to consistently put together these songs on the highest level possible, he's not able to deliver that, so it takes away from it, but yet many people don't even really care. Now some of my favorite bars off of this, even though they weren't all that complex, is when he said, I got issues like a people's magazine. Magazines have tons of issues that's getting put out all the time. And he's saying issues in terms of he got problems like you and me had problems. Even if I was signed to Yeezy, I wouldn't be good enough. And that's a shout out to Kanye as his record label is good music, but yet, He's always been knocked by people saying that he's never been a quality rapper. And my last quotable would be, I'm too alive like the twins in the womb. Now, that was pretty cool because he's too alive, just like there's two people alive if they're twins in someone's womb. Like, that was excellent bars. But sadly, man, this is too far and wide. The bars just aren't there enough to actually do anything. And two, he's just not feeling it at all as he's trying to show us why he should 
retire, and I'm happy that he's deciding to go ahead and walk out the game on the highest note that he can at this moment. See, when a bare basic logic is going to deliver you at least a 7.5 on your scale, a uninspired lackluster logic still will deliver you a 6 out of 10 here, dude. It was definitely enjoyable. He got in the game, got everything he won out of the game, and got out without completely betraying who he was throughout the entire way, and he's commendable for that. Now, will he be back? Most likely, in my opinion, but hopefully he won't. Hopefully, whatever he got in the making, whether it's the book that he made the soundtrack for, hopefully that hits all the way continuously. Hopefully, he'll do maybe some movies or something. Like, he, he has the creativity and he has the ability to do anything he wants to do in life. Why waste it in the music industry where he's not that appreciated, especially when you see these newer acts that are far less like skillful as he is get all the accolades from individuals like i'm not mad at him for leaving do you bro but let's keep it 100 we'll catch you later bro